I don't know if it's connected. It might not be. <laughs> What's up, guys? I think I am live. If anybody is can hear me, if you guys can hear me, let me know in the chat room. I don't know, let, let me know if you guys can hear me. I just got a new setup. So my last stream was, I called it the struggle stream. So it was pretty bad. Hopefully this one's a little bit better quality. <laughs> I hope so. Hope you guys can hear me. And uh, today we're going to be talking about how to develop a big guy game. Big guy jujitsu, strong guy game, strong guy jujitsu. This is more for guys over 200 pounds, but realistically, you know, anybody can develop a big guy game. It's possible for everybody. Let's see. Ahmed says, "Yes, we hear you. Awesome, man." Um, I got a new chat set up, so I'm trying to figure everything out. It's kind of kind of wonky a little bit, but uh, we'll figure it out, guys. Uh -oh. <laughs> Hope you guys are having a good day. Uh, I know I'm trying out some different times with my live stream. So I've been doing mostly like evenings, um, maybe the weekends I can do earlier moving forward. So I, I just want to see if you guys have a particular time that works for you. Let me know in the chat room. But again, we're going to be talking about how to develop a big guy game. And I think I was trying to say that anybody can develop this, this style, this style of jujitsu. And I got a little presentation for you guys. Hopefully that pulls up. I'm hoping, I'm praying that it pulls up. <clears throat> and uh, we had a uh, Trey Lord earlier. He said, uh, "As a big guy, he's six three, two sixty. He's a big guy. I vastly prefer playing a small guy game. I use lots of standing, passing, open guard, and stay very mobile. It served me well, and I and I get told I don't move like a big guy. That's awesome. Yeah. Maybe we should do a stream on how to develop a small guy game. <laughs> uh, but you know, there's no strict rule set." It's just uh, typically with your body type, there's going to be a style that will probably work well. But that doesn't mean you should be limited to that style. So if you guys are joining, got a little bit higher quality. I hope it's higher quality than uh, last week's uh, live stream, which was a little rough. Struggle stream. Uh, got a little presentation for you guys. And then um, later in the program, I'll do the live, uh, live call-in part through Zoom, so um, make sure you have your Zoom ready. And uh, if you have earphones, make sure you have some earphones for the Zoom microphone. If you have a microphone, go ahead and plug that in. And I'll I'll put the uh, link in the chat in a little bit. Let's see if I can get my presentation ready. I'm gonna try to wait for a little bit more people to get in here. Um, actually, I might as well start. No point in waiting. Also, hope you guys got the checking out the ADCC uh, stream going on with Flow Grappling. Should be pretty uh, pretty bumping out there. Okay, cool. I got a different setup now. Um, let's see if you guys can see. Let me know if you guys see a little box <laughs> under me on my, I guess, my right side. That's where my presentation is going to be. So let's see. Let's see if we get this bad boy working. All right. Boom. You guys see that? Let me know if you guys see that, okay? 
So yeah, we're talking about developing a big guy game. Big guy jujitsu, big guy game. You know, like I said, this style works really well for over 200 pound guys. If you're 200 pounds or bigger, this style is going to be like perfect for you. Let me know if you guys can see that, okay? I don't know if you guys can see that or not. With my interface, I can't really see too well. So yeah, developing a big guy, a big guy game. Again, guys, let me know if you guys can see that before I move on. I'm trying to wait a little bit longer. Uh-oh. <laughs> Always some technical difficulties. Uh, let me see if I can switch it around then. Uh, let's see. Uh, I see it, but you guys don't see it. Let's see, let's see. I'm trying to figure this out. It's always something, man. It's always something out here. Let's see. Oh, that sucks. I can't I can't pull it up for you guys. <laughs> no. Yeah, I don't know how to get it, though. Let's see. Man, technology, man, I swear. Let's see if I try this. Uh, yeah, I don't know how to get it to come up with you guys. All right, so got to figure that part out. I'll keep moving on though. So developing a big guy game. It's not the longest presentation. Uh, so it's more of an old school, old school traditional style. Um, you know, if you look back in the past, like at those black and white videos of the Gracies and you know, like people training judo. Uh, it's gonna look the same as the the modern big guy game. And it's, you know, it's more of a traditional style. And, uh, man, I had a great video for you guys. You know what, guys? Uh, I got my preview of my, my program backwards. <laughs> Let's see if I can figure this out. Uh... I'm trying. I'm trying, guys. Can you guys see it? No? Technology, guys. Technology got me. Uh, maybe if I turn my virtual camera on. Um... Hey! You guys see it? Let me know if you guys see it. Let me know if you guys see it. I think I got I think I got it. I think I got it, guys. I think I got it. Let me know. Let me know in the chat, guys, if you, if you see the presentation. But I think I got it. I think I, I think I figured it out.
Again, let me know if you guys see it in the chat. I think it's up, but just to be safe, let me know. Type me a little message if you can see it. So yeah, like I said, big guy game. It's more of a traditional, old school style. You know, if you trained in before the 2000s, you probably had a more <laughs> a more big guy type of game. Uh, but you know, always the small guys always kind of had their own style. You know, more speed, agility. We'll talk about that in another live stream, possibly. And um. A really good guy, uh, what is this kid's name? I can't remember his name, but he's very popular. Very popular, uh, grappler. Uh, let's see. Very popular grappler. Um, I believe he's won, you know, place the worlds before. Big guy. And you're gonna see, like, he has more of a traditional big guy style, you know? Other guy goes to pull guard, and then, um, you know, he's in the, like a, type of half guard type of game because you know this guy's pretty big you're not gonna get close guard on him and so from here you're gonna see this guy's actually really mobile for his size you know he's able to utilize his weight really well effectively and you know very uh, deliberate movement back into the half guard smashing pressure you know takes his time and so this is you know what I would characterize as a big guy game Lots of pressure, you know, using your, your weight to the fullest extent. And then, uh, you know, man, that side pressure, man. Jesus. That side pressure. That side pressure gets you. <laughs> that side pressure gets you, man. That's, uh, you know. Not much you can do about that, even for me. I, I probably screwed up at this point. And so, you know, once a big guy gets on your side, man, it's just a matter of time. Puts that weight on you, puts that pressure on you. <clears throat> Takes his time, maintains the side. Because you're going to expend so much energy just trying to recompose, you know, trying to shrimp out. Your arms are working, trying to defend and frame. It, you're just going to get tired. So, uh... The big guy game is a slower game, but man, a lot of less mistakes, less mistakes, uh, less missed opportunities. You're going to see, like, man, he moves to the neon belly. When the big guy gets you a neon belly, man, <laughs> you might see your lunch. You might see your breakfast come back up. And, yeah, it gets a tap. And so that's what I would characterize as a big guy game, you know. You could be smaller and have that kind of game, uh, but just super effective, man, using your weight to the fullest extent. <clears throat> so yeah, that's, you know, that's the big guy, big guy style. You see, he gets his hand raised. Uh, so yeah, you know, that's the big guy, big guy style. Uh, some other athletes that, you know, good big guys to watch, Buchecha, uh, Jao Gabriel Hosha, uh, Cyborg. Yeah, I'm not saying he's the best moral person to follow, but, you know, as far as big guy jiu-jitsu. Uh, Batista from Atos. Um see some other good guys uh man there's a ton of guys Hodger Gracie <laughs> Hodger Gracie's a good one <clears throat> Kavaka Leo Noguera Bernardo Faria uh man there's so many good big guys out there you know just off the top of my head this guy kind of reminds me of Big Mac if you guys remember some of the old school guys remember Big Mac does anybody remember Big Mac Biggie Mac Kind of similar body body frame. So yeah, that's the big guy big guy game. <clears throat> Let's see what's up. And so uh, a 
friend of mine, Dan Lukehart, out of uh, California, La Brea, California, he had a really good, uh, made like this little flow chart that I thought was really interesting, and luckily I was able to find it again, but um, let's see if I can pull it up for you guys. Can you guys see that? Let me know if you guys can see that in the chat room, if you guys can see this. Uh, let's see if I can make it bigger. There you go. <laughs> so it's the... <coughs> Sorry, I got a frog in my throat. So it's the big guy top game flow chart. <clears throat> so pretty much if you're a big guy, you know... If you follow this, this flow chart, you know, you can't mess up, guys. You can't mess up. So the first point, are you in a good position? So your good positions could be like half guard, close guard... Uh, those are probably the biggest, the best positions for big guys. But you're if if you're in a good position, okay. What's next? If that's yes, go for Americana. I'm gonna throw Kimura in there because big guys. If you go for Kimura, Americana, uh, man, <laughs> those are really amazing submissions for you guys. Like, man, it's hard to stop. You know, as a smaller guy, so that big guy gets you in that that submission, and you're just so spread out, and you know they got their chest over here or something over here blocking you and man it's rough you know that's rough so say you're in that good position and uh or you're not in a good position and so he goes and so he goes uh <laughs> cholo hey what's going on buddy what's going on buddy he says heck yeah i almost cursed need this internet coach uh so yeah if you're not he says uh are you fast and big or just big? So if you're fast and big, kind of like the guy in the previous video, if you guys were able to catch that video, he's, he's fast and big, right? He's fast and big. Okay, so that's one style of big guy. The other style of big guy is just big, just big. <laughs> A little bit slower, but big. So if you're the first style, you know, the fast big guy, uh, you know, you can look for your double underhooks, and then you can... You know, double underhooks from like half guard and then look to pass to side mount. That's a great option. If you're just big guy, a little bit slower, but more methodical big guy, you know, just get the half guard and take your time just kind of crushing the guy. And then for both both of those guys, they can go back to the Americana or I'm going to add Kimura because I, I believe Kimura is a little bit better submission. Um... And so that's just a, a very simple breakdown of the big guy game. But you see how simple simple it is. I'm, I'm, you can make it more complex. It's easy to make it more complex. Uh, but, you know, as far as, like, getting up and running, man, if you're a big guy, keep it simple. That's all I want you guys to do, okay? <clears throat> Loving this presentation stuff. It took me, it took me a long time to get this ready, but I'm um, happy you guys can see it. So that was the, uh, I don't know if you guys can see me now. I don't know where I am now. So that was the big guy flow chart. And so, so a large part of being a big guy, I mean, if you guys can see this, I'm trying to move it over. Maybe over here. Actually, I like it over here. <laughs> Technology. So, you know, a large part of being a big guy is, uh, Using your size and your weight to your advantage. That's that's all it is, guys. Making the best use of your body type. Use that size. Use that, you know, use your weight. Let gravity help you, okay? And so, of course, you know, this is probably the most famous picture of a big guy, you know. Let me kind of blow this up a little bit. <laughs> Most famous picture of a big guy just and that shows you what big guy jujitsu is. You see the guy on bottom, he's just like, ah, oh, I hate this. Why did I sign up for this tournament? He's getting crushed. And you see the big guy on top, man, taking his time, relaxing, breathe probably breathing a little hard. But you can you can see in the picture he's almost got the Americana. The Americana's like, you know, ready. Ready, right? It's right there, he's ready to get that thing pinned to the mat. And also, you know, maybe the guy defends Americana. 
bring me back on the camera. And let's see. You know, maybe the guy defends that Americana. And then look, boom, Kimura. Kimura is right there. So if you're a big guy, you need to develop a good Americana. You need to develop a good Kimura. And also, there's some other side chokes, you know, like the uh, paper cutter choke, baseball choke. Some of those are going to be really great for you big guys out there. And man, when you get that thing, you're, uh, it's just like, ah. Uh. <laughs> I feel, feel bad for the guy on bottom, guys. Cholo Davey says, but the knee cut. Yeah, big guy knee cut. Pretty effective. Um, but, you know, as a big guy, man, don't you don't need to... I, w I don't want you guys creating too much space. If you can stay tight with your knee cut, obviously go for it. But if you're trying to knee cut as a big guy and you feel like you're leaving a lot of space, I prefer you stay in the half guard, force half guard, you know, get that shoulder pressure, get the underhook, and then start working working on, like, your next steps. But you don't need to copy exactly like like a knee cut, some of the other stuff. A guy that did really well with this style was um was a uh, uh Hadolfo. So Hadolfo, he's been he's kinda in the middle range of big guys, like a big guy, but he's like a small big guy, but man, you know, he's strong. Cholo says, uh no, no, no. When I get knee cut by small people. Yeah, well, that's the small guy game. We, we're not talking about small guys today. We're talking about the big guys, the big boys. So let's see, where's my slide at? Dun, dun, dun. I'm enjoying this technology, guys. I don't know if you guys realize how much I'm enjoying this technology. It's so much fun. <laughs> so much fun. So let's bring my, there we go, got my slide, got my big guy, Wee! And so the big guy game is not limited to just big guys, so if you're a smaller, you can develop a big guy game. You know, you can have a big heart like a big guy, right? Might have a small frame, but you have a big heart like a big guy. And, uh, you know, some guys have been able to make the big guy game work for them even though they were they were they are smaller and so some good examples of those hey, hey, hey you guys know who this is who's this this guy on his shirt his rash guard's got his name on there uh marcelo garcia so i would characterize him as having a bigger guy game so look at his passing style he forces half guard usually right kind of more sprawled out he does some knee cuts too, but more sprawling, more pressure um, style passing. So Marcelo Garcia, I would characterize as having a big guy, kind of a pressure style passing game. Boom. Uh, this is my buddy Austin. Uh, I'll make it larger. This is my buddy Austin. Uh, you guys probably definitely don't know who he is unless you're from Atlanta. Uh, but man, he's like, you know, light feather. Featherweight, uh, not feather. He's like rooster weight, light feather, and actually that's that's my other friend Dean in there from Lucas Lepre Academy. But uh, Austin, he's the small. He's a small guy, weight wise, but man, he's able to play so tight with this game, and he's pretty strong. So he actually developed a bigger guy jujitsu, bigger guy passing style, and so when he's on, you know, he's passing, he gets, you know, he forces half guard, he puts pressure, he. He's he's able to utilize his weight to the the fullest. Like when I go with him, it's like I just there's no space, and I he just can't keep him off of you. And so that's a, that's how a big guy would or a smaller guy could utilize a big guy game, just playing tighter, leaving no space, utilizing whatever weight you have, you know, lightweight, featherweight, rooster weight, using all that weight to put your your partner in in a bad position. So that's what I would characterize as. Perfect example of a small guy with a big guy game. Another guy, uh, Guy Mendez. So, uh, Guy Mendez of the Mendez Brothers has a very, I would almost characterize it as a big guy game. A lot of pressure, passing, you know, crushing pressure. You see this with some of his students like Janata uh, from AOJ. But man, very methodical, pressure. Man, they put you in those bad positions and like, 
these guys feel like they're over 200 pounds just the way they're utilizing their jiu-jitsu. One second, guys. I'm kind of flipping around. There we go. Let me bring myself back up. Hello, I'm back. So some other characteristics of the big guy game. Um, we'll go over some of the things I probably missed. Thank God I have some notes here. Also, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get the Zoom uh, link ready. So if you would like to go live with me, chat live with me about developing a big guy game, maybe you have some questions about developing like a big guy game or uh, something along that theme, we can go ahead and uh, have you uh, go into the Zoom. So let me figure out how to invite somebody. So I'm going to pin this link in the uh, the chat here. So if you guys would like to join the Zoom uh, link, join the, the actual Zoom uh, call-in part, I'll just go ahead and pin this in the chat. And then you guys go ahead and get your Zoom ready. I'm not going to start it immediately, but just go ahead and, ha go ahead and have your Zoom uh, open. <clears throat> Let's see, I'm going to go ahead and pin this message. And so it should be in the, should be in the Zoom or in the YouTube live uh, chat here. There we go. Let's see, where am I? There we go. <laughs> uh, so Cholo says, uh, what is it? It's updating a little slower. I got my mother programs update, updating a little too slow. Oh, oh. Let me move to the live chat. Give me one second, guys. Let's move a little slow. Cholo, Davy, Davy. I'm messing it up. You know I'm messing it up. He says North South choke. Yeah, North South man, big guy North South. Uh, <laughs> a big guy that gets you a North South is oh scary, 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 uh, scary, scary thing. I mean, in all honesty, as a big guy, you don't need to move from side mount. If you're a big, big guy. You don't need to move from that side mount. If you want to go north south, go ahead. But man, stick inside mount because you want to keep that constant pressure on your partners. For some reason it's not updating the chat as fast as I would like it, but uh, we'll keep moving forward. You know. Uh, so let me make it bigger. So some other characteristics of the big guy game. Um, you know, slow and steady. Slow and steady game. Methodical. Again, you might have some outliers out there, like the bigger guy I showed earlier, or someone like Buchecha that can move really fast. They're, man, they're super athletic for their size, you know. Uh, but most big guys are going to move slow and steady. And uh, what what that means is that you're going to make less mistakes. Because you're moving slower, you're going to make less mistakes. That's something you also see with higher belts. They move a little bit slower sometimes, right? So... That means they're going to make less mistakes versus some of the higher, lower, uh, I think I said higher belts. Higher belts make less mistakes because they're moving slower usually. Higher belts or lower belts, you know, especially white belts, blue belts, usually they're moving at light speed, right? So faster speed, more mistakes because you're not really thinking as much. You can't really adjust. Usually you can't adjust when you're moving so quick. Uh, so you're probably going to make more mistakes. But the big guy game lends itself to making less mistakes just because they're moving slower. All right. Some other characteristics. Uh, again, top half guard will be your best position. Top half guard. You know, it doesn't matter if they got that knee shield, quarter half, butter half, whatever, Z guard. Get the half guard big guys out there. 
And man, just lean your weight, you know, put all, put your weight into the person. Let them feel your, your weight, man. Uh, yeah, that, that, guys, get the half guard. Big guys out there, my big guy, my big boys out there, and big girls out there, get the half guard. Force that half guard. And then, um, you know, there's less worry about triangles. For my big, big guys, some other characteristics of the big guy game, is just you don't have to worry about the triangle as much. Unless you're going against the tall, lanky guy. If they're short and they're trying to throw a triangle up on you, you can probably just, you know, boom, just swat that triangle out the way. It ain't going to work. In fact, you're going to see a lot of big guys will bait triangles to set up their passing style, their p passing sequence. So, you know, I can't do that, but you big boys, big girls out there, you can do that. Do it for me. Let's see. Uh, also, as a big guy, big girl, close guard is going to be less effective. It just is. If you guys saw that video I posted earlier with the big guy, uh, man, there's no way you could get close guard. There's no way. He's too big. You can't, man, just... Unless you're like over 6'5", you ain't getting close guard on that guy. It's just, it's not going to happen. Physically, just not. It's just physically not possible. So, um, when you're that, when you're the in the big, big guy group, so there's a big guy, like over 200 pounds, and then the big, big guys are like over 250, 260 and above. So once you get to that range, man, close guard, it ain't, ain't going to stop you. So yeah, big guys, <laughs> you know, what they try to get close guard on you, you know what you do? You step up, push the leg down, step over, force that half guard, and crush. Uh, where am I? So, downsides. Uh, there are some downsides to the big guy, big guy game. There are some downsides, unfortunately. You know, every style's got their downsides. And so with the big guy game, there are some... Um, I don't want to say... Yeah, some, there are some, you know, some trade-offs to having this bigger bigger style, big guy style. <laughs> Jolo says uh, uh, the uh, smash triangle. Smash triangle, yeah. That smash triangle... I. <laughs> Raise your hand if you got caught in that that triangle that uh that smash before you try you think you're gonna get a triangle, and then you get crushed. Uh, I was watching someone, my buddy uh Cho uh Chu from uh Iron Horse. So Chu's a smaller guy, and then he was going with like you know, guy. This guy must have been over 300, 280 plus pounds. And I see Chu over Chu's you know little blue belt. He tries to throw that triangle up. And I'm like, no, Chu, don't do it, don't do it, Chu, don't do it. And then, and then, you know, it's it was like in the movies where it's, you hear like the the beat drop, like, Dawr. and yeah, he got crushed. He survived, but you know, he got crushed. Um, let's see another story. <laughs> I had another friend, my buddy Ryan Parker, uh, fellow black belt. Uh, he was training with another big guy, and uh. Ryan, he's in he's masters, you know, forties. But he must have been like late thirties when this happened. He was going with a big guy and he tried to like invert, maybe the bolo or something, or just inverted. And I, I don't know why he thought he that was gonna work against a big guy. And so, you know, Ryan goes to invert and then the big guy just like <laughs> just crushes crushes Ryan in the stack pass. And I mean that was pretty bad, but like the worst part is that um you know, Ryan kept he stayed inverted, but, like, the big guy was like, all right. And the big guy just stayed there and just, you know, put, like, all 260, 275 pounds on him in, for, like, five minutes. And so, uh, yeah, you know, listen, guys, don't invert on the big guys like that because they're going to make you pay because your spine, all you, you know, you curve, curve like this, that, boom, the big guy comes on top and just flattens you out. So be mindful of that, small guys. But big guys, you know, um, I got distracted, but yeah, downsides. Uh, uh, 
UFC, NBA, NFL says, as a new white belt with very long legs, my triangles fails every time, and then I get passed. Uh, yeah, I mean, we got, that'll be another live stream, how to use your triangles as a tall, lanky white belt. That'll be another stream. Uh, I have to see how you're setting it up, you know. If you want to go on the live, on the Zoom chat, maybe we can set something up for that one. Cholo says, downside, uh, so hard not to be flat. It's like I'm a, a weeble wobble <laughs> and want to be flat. Yeah, can be kind of hard to be flat. Uh, well, one, one upside to this is that, you know, when someone tries to mount you, so say you're a big kind of round guy, big guy, when someone tries to mount you because you're usually so round, their knees aren't going to hit the floor, typically, if they're smaller. So, like, you can kind of negate mount. You can just kind of bypass them out because they're they can't stabilize it it'll be like them trying to stabilize on a swiss ball you know one of those big bouncy balls like they're like Ugh. and so you just boop, knock them over or recompose uh so back to the downsides here we go uh so the big guy game there's going to be less room for mistakes uh so as a big guy say you you know say you miss your takedown or say you get your guard pass or get your back taken sometimes depending on your your defense uh it can be hard to come back from some of those things you know if a big guy kind of misses their their takedown and then they accidentally get taken down or get passed like it's like uh oh <laughs> this is this is bad it could be bad you know, if you're a big guy and you, and you develop, you took the time to develop a good guard, okay, it's going to work really well. But there are some big guys that, you know, they kind of for they kind of foregone, like, developing a, a guard. So then if they can't stay on top or they get swept or something, they get put in a bad position themselves, you know, sometimes that's like, oh, that's it, it's over. Uh, so again, you know, less room for mistakes. Uh, let's see. As a big guy, it's going to be harder to work your guard. It's just, that's just the way it is. If you're a big guy and you want to work your guard, it's just tougher to do that. Um, this is going to be less guards that you can use a lot of the times, unless you're like a tall big guy. Uh, you know, you're not going to be, there are some guys, like big guys that can work, you know, De La Hiva, Spider Guard, Spider Lasso stuff. Uh, but, you don't see it too often, right? <laughs> I can count on like one hand, maybe the guys that you use that style. Let me look at the zoom real fast. Now, guys, remember if you want to join the Zoom live call-in part, uh, the link is pinned at the top. Go ahead and set up your Zoom. Go ahead and get that ready soon, so we can get into the into that in a little bit. Let's see. My chat's a little slow, guys. I'm a little slow on, on the chat. Cholo says, uh, literally fighting myself when I'm on bottom sometimes. Uh, yeah, it, it's tough. If you, you know, if you're a big guy and you don't have a guard, you know, um, it, it's going to be a uh, challenging, uh, it's, it's going to be a big challenge to develop a guard. Uh, one of my friends, uh, Shireen, she's a big, she's not a big guy, but, you know, she's heavier girl with, like, short, super short legs. So, uh, for her, you know, she was able to develop, like, a kind of a knee shield half guard game and um, she's explosive so she was able to kind of uh, you know make it so she doesn't stay in her guard too long you know she's able to like explosively come up for single legs and sweep um, so you have to really you have to study you have to delve deep into making a game for your body type let's see not too many windows open, guys. Uh, here we go. 
And um, as the big guy, it's you're gonna be less dynamic than uh, small guys. It's just the small guys are gonna be able to move around, be able to adjust faster, be able to set up things faster than a bigger guy. Just less less mass to move around. It's gonna be they're gonna be quicker. Um, so that is the downside to the big guy game. It's gonna be less dynamic, less able to change or adapt. So say a big guy gets swept, they're like, you know, <laughs> a big guy that's never that's always used to be on, on top. So a big guy that's always used to being on top gets swept. Bro, they <laughs> they're like, oh no. Ah. It's like when Godzilla falls over in the movies. It's just, it's like very slow and awkward and it's like <sighs> loud crash. Uh so that is one big downside to the the big guy game. Less dynamic. Oh, that was my last of my notes there. Uh oh, didn't mean to close that. Let me let me bring up the big guy video again. <laughs> didn't mean to close it, guys. Close it by accident. It says it's still there. I'm trying to open it. Here we go. So here's the video. If you guys missed it earlier, we had this uh, video playing. Uh, let's see. Play window. Can you guys see that? Let me make, make it bigger. Let me know if you guys can see that in the chat room. Cholo. Cholo Deva. Cholo Deva. I've, I've been mess, messing up this whole time. He says, great points, coach. Stupid uh, sit-up guard is a double struggle, but it can, but I, but if I can do the sit-up, it's a wrap usually. Yeah. Um, you know, you're going to have to modify it to work for you. Um, so here's the video we, we had at the beginning. There we go. I don't know if this wants to come up. There we go. And uh, I forget this guy's name, Ignacio something something. I can't remember his name, but uh, you know he's I, big guy, big guy jujitsu, which we were kind of talking about. Um, he's got the style. He's got like the the uh, the framework for you guys to build off of. UFC, NBA, NFL says, I'm a six foot two, 195 pounds. Uh, under 200? You're still small, man. <laughs> you're still small. <laughs> not a big guy, but you're almost there. You got the frame, just not, you got to put some more weight on you. Uh, so, not a big guy, but I wonder if I'd have more success by lifting weights, eating more, gaining weight, or losing weight and getting quicker. Um... Yeah, I guess it depends on just whichever one you feel better. Which one do you feel better? Because you could maybe gain weight and then you feel terrible. And then you're like, oh, I hate training now because I'm, I'm too slow now. Or, you know, maybe you feel perfect at your natural weight now. Um, or maybe, maybe you have, I don't know what your body composition is. If you have, like, maybe you have some body fat you could lose. You could actually be, you could actually be at 180 naturally. So, um... Uh, yeah, a lot of it depends on just, uh, where you are naturally, if you know you can lose weight, or if you feel like you can gain weight, um, uh, I, I typically don't suggest people change their, their weight, you know, too much. At 6'2", 195, you know, I guess you're pretty, that's pretty thin, um, uh, 10% body fat, uh, I mean, you could gain weight, but if you feel if you feel great at 195, you know it's probably better to be at that weight. Um, Cause you're gonna be at like, I guess that's almost similar to like Nicholas Margali. If you know who Nicholas Margali is, that's kind of similar. I'm not sure how tall he is, but uh, he might be a little bit heavier, maybe like 200 pounds. But I think you're gonna have that kind of framework. Um, uh, yeah, I, yeah, I wouldn't change your body weight at that. Because say you wanted to do heavyweight in IBJJF uh, weight classes, you would be, you'd be like between middle heavy right now or 
I don't know if you do gi or no gi, but you're probably at heavyweight, and I, I wouldn't change anything right now for your body style, you know. And plus, you know, being lanky, man, focus on your guard. Your guard's going to be uh, where you want to be. So guys like Nicholas Margali, John Thomas, those guys are, had the, a good framework for your body type that you should be studying. And so I missed the whole video with our big guy on the on here, but uh, yeah. If you had to fight that guy, I would pray for you, man. Pray for you, and <laughs> good luck. <laughs> good luck, man. Good luck. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, so that was the end of my presentation there. So, like I said, very simple game. Let me bring up the big guy. Uh, the big guy hit blueprint. Let's see if I can pull it up. There we go. You guys see that? <laughs> if you're a big guy, follow this blueprint, okay? <laughs> That's all you need. It, nothing no, nothing fancy, nothing crazy. You don't need the bolo. You don't need the lasso, float pass. You don't, you don't need any of that. Uh, I did mention some good submissions. You know, Kimura. Um... Uh, Americana, uh, you know, man, get some good uh, side in the gi, get develop some good side uh, control, side attacks. So, like, that's going to be your uh, paper cutter, your baseball chokes, your your cross collar chokes, your uh, lapel chokes, where you you know wrap around the guy's neck. Uh, man, just sometimes just smashing the person with your shoulder pressure. Sometimes, if you're if you learn how to use your your weight really well, sometimes that shoulder pressure just man that makes people tap out. Um, I'm sure there's other submissions, but man, that's that's all you really need, guys. Keep it simple, keep it basic. Uh, so again, guys, I'm gonna start opening up the Zoom uh, live uh, call in. So if you guys want to do the Zoom, you want to talk to me. When I try, try and stay on topic about developing the big guy, developing your big guy game, or if you have any questions about that, um, answers. I answer some questions in the chat room, but if, they, if you guys in the chat want to talk to me live, go ahead and add your Zoom. Uh, yeah, I don't have anybody in there yet, so let's get some get some Zoom people in here, guys. So you just gotta click on the link, and that should bring you into Zoom. If I can get maybe one or two, I know the Zoom's uh, the chat's a little little uh, little quiet right now. But if I can get one or two people on here, well, I'll call it a good uh, good uh, live stream. Let's see. Let's try to get one more per one more person in here. So guys, go ahead and click the uh, pin the link at the top. That's for Zoom, and that way you guys can talk to me on the live. Uh, make sure you have some headphones, so it helps the audio be a little bit better. I'll wait a little bit longer to get some more people in. Uh, in the zoom here, Let me make sure the zoom is up and running. <clears throat> if you guys like this time, let me know if this is a good time. I completely forgot the ADCC was uh, going on right now, so uh, usually like the later times work better for me and tend to have a bigger crowd. Uh, but I kind of like when it's light outside. I don't really want to do too many live streams where it's always dark at. You know, and at night, so I kind of would like to do something around this time, uh, East Coast time, Eastern time. So guys, let's get some, some more people on the Zoom. Uh, if you have any questions, guys, go on the Zoom. UFC, NBA, NFL says, sorry for getting off topic, back to the big guy topic. I noticed big guys do well on top, but struggle against other big guys when on bottom. Yeah, well, big guy, big guy... Like the big guy game is, you know, who, whoever gets on top. So we got two big guys. Whichever big guy gets on top is usually going to win. That's just that's how it works. Like, 
the animal kingdom. You know, you get one guy flips over, that's it. Urgh, they get mauled. <clears throat> So yeah, guys, just trying to get one or two people in the live on the Zoom so I, we can chat live. Um, but yeah, we'll try to stay on topic. We're going to talk about the big guy game, how to develop your big guy game, um, maybe troubleshooting it for some of the guys out there. Uh, still waiting, guys. Let's get some more people in here. Guys, get your Zoom ready. I guess nobody wants to talk to me. They're like, man, screw this guy. <laughs> I can't blame you guys. Uh, let's see some other stuff. That's pretty much it for my presentation, guys. I'm going to wait a little bit longer, try to get some more people on the uh, on the Zoom. Let's see. Let me look, do some research real fast. Internet's a little slow, guys. I'm trying to search. I'm going to look up uh, this older guy. We, it, you know, we call him Big Mac. But he, you know, he had like, you know, really good big guy game for you guys to study. I'll see if I can pull it up. Uh, Let's see, come on. Mm. Yeah, let's look at Biggie Mac first. He's got a good style for you guys to study. Uh, can you guys still see me? Hope you guys can still see me. Okay, I'm still looking. Let's see, full screen, we'll go full screen. So guys, you guys want to join the live chat, live talk, call in part? Go ahead and add your Zoom. I'm gonna wait a little bit longer to get some more guys in the Zoom. Um, until I get some more people in the Zoom, let's look at some uh, big guy matches. Uh, let's see if I can do this. Uh, okay. let's see, display. Display video window capture. Let's see if it'll let me add it, guys. <laughs> I'm looking for it, guys. I'm looking for it. Uh, I don't see it. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna let me do it. Um, let me try something else. Um, I'm trying, guys. Give me one second. Uh, let's see. So again, guys, waiting for some more people to go on the Zoom. If I can't get the Zoom going today, we'll just uh, look at maybe one video, and I'll kind of break it down for you guys. Let's see, it's just taking me a little while to figure out how to open this. Um, yeah, that didn't work out. 
Let's see, let's see. Hmm. Let me get these browser. I don't know if it'll work. Let's see if it works, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I tried. Uh. Oh, maybe I got it. Oh, maybe I got it. Oh, no. I thought I had it. <laughs> I know you guys don't see anything on there. Come on, I'm trying to figure it out, guys. Bear with me. Oh, ah, do you guys see it? Do you guys see it? Uh oh, I see something popped up. Yep, never wonder. Let me see. I almost had it, guys. I got something live streaming. Something's playing. I don't know what's playing out here. <laughs> uh, let's see, guys. Oh, got an ad. That's what's going on. I was wondering what was going on. Let's see if you guys can see this. I'm trying to. Can't tell guys. I'm trying to figure it out. <laughs> Let's see. Come on, Steve. Uh, let's see if I can move this, guys. this one. I'm trying to mute it guys. Let me mute my my speaker. Uh so this is a Big Mac. Let me know if you guys can see this video. It's got a lot of crap on the on the browser. Uh, and he's fighting Steve Hall, who's another big guy, tall guy. Uh, how do I get out of this thing? There we go. Uh, so, yeah, he's fighting another big guy, Steve Hall. Um, my internet is going slow, guys. Sorry about that. I don't know if it wants to work. I'm trying. Yeah, it's moving super slow. Super slow. Yes. 
I'll try one more thing, guys. I'm trying, trying to get this up. Uh, I don't think I can get it up for some reason. It won't come up. Uh, yep, I don't I can get it. I have to free it off for next time, guys. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, that's, that's, uh, developing a big guy game. Um, we went over most of the big points, but, uh, keep it simple, man. Keep it simple. Pressure, utilize your weight, you utilize your size. Um, yeah, that's basically it. Uh, couldn't get anybody on the Zoom chat. Uh, the Zoom call-in part, but maybe we'll try it again next week or later this week. Um, yeah, I guess my biggest takeaway is that big guys, follow the blueprint. <laughs> you don't need to do anything crazy. Just follow the blueprint. Small guys, medium guys. You can also develop like a big guy game yourself. So, um, yeah. So, it's a good style for everybody. I think maybe the next live stream, I'll, I'll figure out the topic and let you guys kind of uh, give your input on if it's a good idea or not. Um, but yeah, I think the big guys, we need to show the big guys more love. That's something that I've noticed myself personally. I'm just, just I try to, uh, you know, if I feel like a move really, works really well for bigger people, I always try to suggest it for them. Because um, it's easy to forget about the big guys. Usually, I think of like, most people that get all the credit usually like small guys you know they have that movement they're agile they're smooth and flowing but um you know usually we don't give the big guys their props um they got good jiu-jitsu man it might not be the prettiest all the time but as far as utility uh utility wise high percentage as far as um effectiveness high percentage you know some of the Small guys, they do some crazy stuff, and then, like, you know, it's like, well, what are they doing? But the big guys usually, I, I feel, stay closer to the spirit of jiu-jitsu more so than anybody. All right, guys, so I think that's going to be it. Um, again, we'll try again. I'll try again to have the live uh, the live Zoom. I, just, I think the timing was off today, uh, maybe later. I just, man, I don't like staying up late, guys. You guys got me staying up late. So, well, I guess that's the time that's going to work best for everybody. So, um, I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, close out this live stream. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys learned a little bit. Um, and that's it, guys. Please take care. Enjoy your Sunday. Watch the ADCC trials if you can. And then, uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs>